Good morning, everybody, um, and welcome to Abraham Lincoln Capital Airport. Um, and I'd like to take a moment to, uh, you know, in addition to welcoming you out of the, the, the chilly weather, I'm going to introduce you to uh, a few individuals, and then also um, we have a short presentation that we would like to, uh, uh, to be part of as well. Um, but uh, for starters, uh, Brad Rupert, the Senator Durbin's office, is uh, representing the Senator here today. Hal Smith with Congressman Darren LaHood. Um, we have Kenny Winslow, Chief of the Springfield Police Department, uh, representing uh, Mayor Jim Langfelder, and Cheryl Lynn, Captain Cheryl Lynn Williams, representing uh, Sheriff West Barr and um, uh, Chairman Andy Van Meter. And for the Airport Authority, the Airport Authority owns and operates the Springfield uh, Springfield's uh, Abraham Lincoln Capital Airport. Uh, Diane Bar Bargudi Hardwick is here, uh, representing uh, Chairman Frank Bala and the uh, Springfield um, Airport Authority Board of Commissioners. Also, we have uh, Mr. Ken Martin, Director, Deputy Director of Aeronautics uh, with the State of Illinois, and Linda Shum with the Safety Department uh, Bureau of uh, Division. Division. Well, Chief of Chief of Safety. Yeah. Bureau Chief of, uh, of Safety and works a lot with our Public Safety Department in operations here on the airport. Um, uh, Craig Van Berkham also representing the state of Illinois with the Illinois State Police, Price McCarty um, with the Federal Bureau of Investigation. And I know there may be some others in the room, uh, everyone else in the room that is here also participating with some critical training that we have going on, active shooter training. We appreciate allowing us to infiltrate your break. Um, but uh, I want to welcome everyone here. Um, appreciate you carving time out of your uh, Tuesday morning to be here. But we have uh, uh, a special guest here, uh, Mr. John Hersey. John Hersey on the end. John is uh, with the uh, Department of Homeland Security and uh, the Transportation Security Administration. Uh, offices for downstate Illinois are out of Moline. And uh, for many years, We've had a very good working relationship with the Transportation Security Administration uh, since 9-11 and the transformation of aviation security in the United States. Um, and most of that effort here done by the Airport Authority has uh, really been um, uh, Tim Frankie, our Director of Public Safety and Operations, our Chief Law Enforcement Officer here at the airport, um, has done a magnificent job in helping the airport move into new phases of security day in and day out as, as things change. Um, and uh, certainly has cultivated numerous relationships uh, with all of state, local, federal law enforcement agencies uh, here in the area and statewide. Um, so with that, I would like to um, ask Mr. John Hersey to come to the podium. He has a uh, uh, presentation he'd like to make on, on behalf of uh, Homeland Security. Thank you, John. Well, thanks, Mark. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. Honored guests and everybody else, thanks for uh, coming and uh, appreciate the opportunity to be here. Uh, really good news today. Uh, you know, with, within TSA, uh, partnerships are extremely important. Uh, you know, TSA operates at about 458 operating locations here in the United States and its territories. Uh, we also have not screening operations, but significant activity that we do at 250 points of last departure around the world that fly directly into the United States. And uh, while we do bring some things to the table and some resources uh, to bear, whether it's screening or, or oversight and compliance or working with host nations, uh, we require a lot. And, and a partnership with TSA is definitely uh, the, the, the only way that we can survive uh, and that we can be successful. And so not only is uh, Mark and the staff here and the police department at, at the Springfield Airport uh, partners that we recognize locally, uh, I'm announcing today that they are receiving the National TSA Partnership Award. Uh, four such uh, departments, uh, support agencies, got that recognition throughout the country. And uh, I'm proud to say that uh, the Springfield Airport Police Department is one of those recipients of that award. So uh, the significance of what they do is uh, pretty astounding. And so at the risk of uh, Boring you a little bit, I'm going to read you the nomination that uh, went forward that won them this national distinction. <clears throat> the Abraham Lincoln Capitol Airport Police Department provides law enforcement services, fire services, and chairs the Airport Security Committee. In these roles, they work with TSA in partnerships which, con which contribute to accomplishments and excellent performance that benefits the security interests of the United States and advances the overall mission of TSA. 
Enhanced airport security measures have been jointly planned, constructed, and implemented, providing a positive and security-focused relationship at all levels of both organizations. With the ongoing sharing of information and working on strategies together, it is ensured that passengers move safely and efficiently while maintaining and enhancing a safe work environment for TSA and airport users. The Springfield Police Department works extremely well with federal, state, and local authorities who have departmental and agency headquarters based in Springfield. The Police Department champions activities in promoting law enforcement cooperation in support of providing protection at the airport. In promotion of providing a high law enforcement visibility and response within the airport, the Springfield Police Department has a special letter of agreement with the Springfield Office uh, of the, police, the Springfield Police Department for providing canine support during TSA checkpoint screening operations. Additionally, the airport has partnered with the Illinois Secretary of State Bomb Squad in providing additional random canine in and around the airport. The Police Department staff maximizes opportunities of maintaining efficient channels that promote law enforcement in the protection of U.S. transportation infrastructure. They have made great strides in chairing many security-related related partnership initiatives. The PD works in partnership with, our with the TSA Compliance Office in completion of a four-year fencing project and the recent installation of major security upgrades of their CCTV and access control features, which contributed significantly to the design and enhancement providing additional coverage uh, and security at the checkpoint locations. The police department is also currently working with TSA in the preliminary design for a remodeled checkpoint. They recently hosted a joint review of the airport security plan in which 14 local, state, and federal agencies were represented, whereby contributing to a successful and unified emergency response. The police department conducts annual training exercises and provides classroom materials to all airport staff, stakeholders, and TSA employees to prepare them to, prepare them to effectively respond to an active shooter or other such situation and minimize loss of life. The training consists of a PowerPoint presentation, active shooter training videos, and a tabletop training exercise, in addition to recognizing the sound of gunshots, reacting quick, quickly when gunshots are heard, and or respond, responding when a shoot, shooting is witnessed. They have also been proactive on improving emergency security procedures in the event of weather-related emergencies and work with TSA in planning and response. Because of their, the, the police department is, appro is approved by TSA to instruct uh, the certified program for airport security coordinators. coordinators. They are the only Illinois airport approved for security training program for this important requirement, and they offer annual training for airport operators upon TSA's request. The police department develops and distributes an annual activity schedule that consists of all TSA and FAA required meetings, training activities, for operating an, an air carrier airport. This calendar is distributed during January of every year to the TSA staff, aviation tenants, local, state, and federal emergency response agencies, and allows for ample planning of all involved parties to maximize attendance and, inclu and, and inclusion. The Abraham Lincoln Capitol Airport Police Department is a true model for others to follow. The Transportation Security Administration appreciates their innovative response proactive approach to public service and partnership, and we think they're very deserving of this recognition. So, Mr. Hanna. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Yeah. We can't act like we like each other much more. <laughs> Thank you, John. Um, we'd like to have a Tim uh, Frankie um, come on up too. Um, yeah, just just a few comments um, about this. Um, we we appreciate our partnership um, and those outside of the airport community. Sometimes inside the airport community around the nation, uh, I know of peers in airport management they, that may not have good a relationship with the TSA as you may all maybe for some obvious reasons but we do we we get along we have an excellent working relationship uh, Karen where are you at Karen? Karen Martin here locally Ken Jefferson um, uh, help out of the Moline office as well we just have an outstanding 
working relationship. And everything that um, Director Hersey just read uh, on the citation um, cannot be possible without the partnerships. It's absolutely impossible <coughs> to do everything that's required of us um, by the TSA, the FAA, um, and all the requirements and everything that's happening right now in a global environment. Um, things do start right here. The rubber meets the road. You know, the landing gear meets the runway right here in Springfield. You, you enter in the national airspace system um, right here in Springfield and you can be anywhere in the world in 24 hours uh, by, a, by, by a, uh, an aircraft uh, at any one connecting international airports. So it's critical that we have these relationships. And the mayor and the county, um, thank you so much. We cannot do it. Uh, our outstanding police department, um, Mike, Mike Bouchel, uh, and, and with, with Tim Frankie's leadership here locally, we cannot do it without our local partners uh, with the city. We do not have the resources, nor does any airport have all of the resources themselves to be in compliance. And it's, it's outstanding that we can be here today to kind of celebrate not just the airport authority and our police department, but the partnership and the relationship. And I know that might sound kind of hearts and flowers, if I may, but um, that we can pause and carve out time today and share this moment and appreciate each other, I think goes a long way uh, without having to always get together in a time of crisis or in a catastrophe or something like that. So we want the community to know that we are connected, we have a partnership, and that we respect and appreciate each other. Uh, the state of Illinois, we, can't, we cannot do it without our partners at IDOT, um, designing our airfields, maintaining uh, safe construction uh, areas, uh, working in and around construction zones. Every time we have a construction project on the airport, there's a construction safety basing plan that goes into effect. And in concert with that, we work with the TSA. When we have a construction project on the airport, there's a change of condition on our layout uh, of the security parameters that we have to follow. And Ms. Chief Frankie has to work with both of those agencies to make sure those plans are in, are in place at the local level. Uh, notification is made as needed. We need to burden people with you know, agencies with, uh, with um, information unless it's absolutely necessary. So we try to, to accommodate and, uh, and make those adjustments at the lowest possible level, knowing that we do have great partnership. Also with the FAA, um, Mr. Dave Sammons, and as far as secure at the security at the airport, air traffic control, uh, Mr. Sammons is our air traffic control manager. Uh, and we have an excellent working relationship also with the FAA, not only here locally um, with Tech Ops, the Flight Center's district office, but also the Air Traffic Control Tower staff personnel, in addition to the staff in, uh, up in Chicago. So we cannot operate without you in a, in a safe manner, Dave, uh, and, and your friends at the FAA. Um, uh, Craig Van Berkham, representing the uh, uh, all of uh, you know, right now the agencies with the state police we cannot operate safely we cannot uh, have these training events we cannot have cat our um, uh, we cannot have contingency plans without working with the state police and with your resources um, so it is truly a, uh, a community effort uh, statewide local and uh, up, up to the federal level as well and certainly uh, um, CMT, our consulting engineers, uh, is, is one that's represented here today also with, with Randy Vogel. Um, they do spend a lot of extra time working with us in the state and coming to our security meetings and learning and understanding our needs and the constraints that are put on us um, trying to help us find solutions. Um, certainly, really close working relationship with IDOT and the FAA as we plan and program projects. So. I just wanted to make sure that everyone was aware that there's a lot of effort that goes in day in and day out to make something like this possible. And being one of four in the nation to receive this award today, uh, we're truly grateful for the relationship that we have with the TSA. Um, and certainly we cannot underscore and appreciate it. I wish we could do more for our partners uh, other than to recognize you and to truly tell you that we are appreciative of, of your efforts the commitment to the airport um, when in some cases uh, it uh, you go above and beyond.
so we appreciate it. Um, and, and with that, I, I just like to open it up if anyone else has any comments. Otherwise, we get back to uh, get back to some training. You, you mentioned the names of the three folks here from TSA, but they play a very significant yes, role. Uh, Ken Jefferson, if you, the stand in fact, if we get a picture with Ken, Karen, yes. and Nikki yes. in there, if you guys want to come on up. But Ken is our, uh, his title is Assistant Federal Security Director for Law Enforcement, and Ken's, Ken's job for the 10 airports that we are uh, uh, that we, we are responsible for works all the all the emergency contingency day-to-day -day law enforcement support uh, Nikki Rush is one of our inspectors her primary responsibility is the Springfield Airport and she uh, is the part of TSA that came out of the FAA after 9-11 and does the regulatory compliance for the what, what we call the regulated parties and so big part of the security piece here and a big part of the partnership and then last but not least, Karen Martin is the manager for both the Springfield Airport and Quincy. And so uh, big, big, big players in this, in this partnership for sure, right? Um, yeah, if anyone has anything else, I mean, we'll conclude and take some photos, but uh, I think it's, it's just outstanding that we can come together in a time not of crisis and appreciate and, and recognize each other. Uh, while the airport authority will have this award on our wall, know that it is a uh, it's a partnership award and we can't do it I mean this doesn't mean anything without everyone in this room and those that you represent so we, we appreciate that